What's up everyone? Got a new video today. Uh, so I'm going to be reviewing the Batman classic TV series uh, Villain's Lair and the Bat Cycle with the sidecar. Uh, so I'm just going to take those out, put it together, and then I'll just show it really quick how it looks. Okay, here is the Villain Lair now setup. And I got to say, I definitely love this uh, setup. Um, I think it's definitely much better than the Batcave that we got uh, previously. But this is uh, actually, I'm, I'm very impressed. I'm, I'm impressed with the artwork that we see on the background here. It, it just looks really uh, cool and it really pops seeing the villains uh, united. And then uh, you see Joker, Penguin, Riddler, and uh, Catwoman. And then uh, I like the bookshelves. You know, everything here is, uh, pretty much everything is hollowed out. Uh, similar to the Batman cave set. So, uh you know, there's images printed on there, and they look pretty realistic. You know, they kind of went more realistic look. And then uh, I love there's actually like a portrait on the right here, and it's just like a portrait, and you see a bunch of penguins in there. I think that's awesome. <laughs> and, you know, it's kind of funny. You see this. It looks like a nice place. Uh, are, we, are, are we sure they're villains? Because, you know, Batman's in the cave. It looks more creepier in a dungeon area like that. Are you sure he's not the bad guy? I don't know. Uh, I think that's kind of funny with here. Uh, it's cool that it comes with a table. Uh, the cloth's, you know, it's not cloth, it's uh, plastic. But uh, doesn't leave much legroom. So, you know, for a figure to sit, uh, it looks like it's going to be kind of difficult. I'm just going to use the Mattel Catwoman. Sorry, McFarlane, I don't I don't get the, the McFarlane uh, six-inch figures. I, I kind of did that with Mattel. So I'm just getting this to enhance those figures but you know as you can see it's it's pretty high so you're gonna need something for this table to sit on and raise it up to have figures actually sit within the table um but it's still cool we get uh chairs you know there's like this uh t with a plate at the bottom and you also get a table with a stereo that could plug into it or a radio transmitter uh, you see a file cabinet, uh, then you got a vase here and it comes, you know, also there's this, uh, umbrella, which I guess can belong to, uh, Penguin. However, I'm probably going to throw this with the, uh, McFarlane, uh, Penguin that was, uh, from the Batman movie since, uh, he, uh, missed out on it. So maybe I'll just throw that on that one. Um, you also get this Catwoman sculpt sculpture, uh, you know kind of thing so that's just some artwork to put around the house uh and then you see the locker with cat food catnip um uh, just really kind of a cool little thing here it's definitely awesome for display and uh definitely for other figures too i think i think it could work out well here is the villains inside the villain lair these are all from mattel not mcfarland so uh sorry i don't have any mcfarland figures uh from this series really to throw in here Okay, here is the bat cycle now with the sidecar. Um, I, it's, you know, it's a pretty small motorcycle and it comes with this little sidecar here, which I'm not too much of a fan of actually. I, I thought I would have liked it better in person, um, but it's just kind of like whatever. Um, and then it just kind of also sits in this slot here, kind of bland, and it rolls out very easily. So it's not uh, something easy to have in there but you know you can have it and then i guess it'll just like roll across it's a very simple design but it is based on the 60s right so it's got to be pretty simple um not much detailing going on here with the rims it's kind of just a fill in the plastic the tires have a little rubbery uh, texture in it and pretty uh thin as you can see here um Still kind of nice with the paint, and this is a nice uh, clear glass here. Okay, here is Batman and Robin uh, in the Bat Cycle and Sidecar. Uh, doesn't look too great with the Mattel ones. I don't know if it would have been looking better with McFarlane's, but they are around the same scale. They're both six inches, so um, maybe I have better shot with the, them, but I don't know. This seems more articulated, so it's kind of interesting. Um, but they still look pretty decent in here. You know, you can, you can have this work um, if that's how you want them displayed or not. 
uh it's still a nice addition to have if you do have like the vehicle for batman you know you want to have uh you know like a completion of what uh he used in the show but that's all i have to add for this video so hopefully you guys did enjoy it i do love that villain's lair i'm gonna give that a 7 out of 10 you know i i think that is a cool thing to have hopefully mcfond does make another one i want to see him do uh you know the inside of wayne manor you know just have like a, a cool background for that it'd be it'd be pretty nice like a fireplace whatever um i i think that'd be cool to see so uh bad cycle and eh, i give it a five out of ten wasn't really a fan of it too much but it's still all right um hopefully you guys did enjoy this video hit that like button if you did uh subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you all next time